this module, we will review how to create and send surveys. From the name dropdown in the right hand corner, choose surveys. Surveys will provide any recent surveys that you have created. You can choose to add a survey or manage questions. First, we will choose manage questions to create the questions for our survey. You will be provided with the questions that you've already created. To add a new question, choose add question. On the new questions page is where you will create your question. You'll have the option of labeling your question. You can choose what kind of survey you would like to use this in. This field is optional. You'll create your question. You'll choose what type of question this is going to be. Your options are rate, where you can choose a rating on a scale of one to five, for example. Choose one where you can provide options and your contact will choose one option. For example, great, okay, or horrible, or free form, where your customer will be able to enter text to an open-ended question. Next will be bypass on fault. By default, this is set to yes, and that means that if somebody answers the question that's outside of your value, it will skip to the next question. For example, in a rate question with a value of one to five, if somebody enters 10, it will skip to the next question. If this is set to no, it will repeat the question until an answer is provided within your values. You can also choose to repeat question. This will give your customer a hint to answer the question inside the values. Choose save. In this example, we are going to choose a rate question with a value of one to five. Our question is based on the service you received, how would you rate your agent? We added a note on a scale of one to five, one being bad and five being excellent. We have chosen to turn off bypass. If a customer enters something outside of the one to five value, it will repeat the question, please choose a response on a scale of one to five, with one being bad and five being excellent. We will choose to save our question. In our next example, we will choose a choose one option. Our question is based on your experience today, would you recommend us to friends and family? Please choose an option below. They will see one for yes, or they can respond two for no. They will have the ability to bypass this question, so if they enter a number besides one or two, it will skip to the next question. Choose safe. Now that we have all of our questions created, we will choose the Manage Surveys option to create our survey with our questions. Choose Manage Survey. We will choose Add Survey to create a new survey. We will need to create a name for our survey, an introduction. This will display prior to the survey going into effect, a conclusion for our survey, termination terms such as stop, unsubscribe, cancel, if someone would like to opt out of this survey. Time to lapse is how long the survey will be active for. Action on completion, what would you like to happen once the survey has concluded? Your options are close chat or send to an agent. And type determines the manner and sort of reporting. This can be general or just for users and administrators. You will then choose the questions that we created previously that you would like to be part of this survey. In this example, we will name our survey customer service. We will provide an introduction that says, thank you for contacting us today. Based on your experience, please answer our three question survey. A conclusion, thank you for your response. Your feedback is important to us. Termination terms, we've added terminate. Time to lapse. The survey will be active for 24 hours once it's sent to the contact. Action on completion. Once they have completed the three questions, the chat will close. And I've included the questions that we previously created. 
If at any time you would like to change the order of your questions, you can use the arrows to drag and drop your questions. Choose Save. Our new survey has been created. There are multiple ways to share the survey. First, let's review how to send it in a text cast. From the left menu bar, choose Text Cast. In a text cast, you can build your recipient list to send it to multiple contacts, or you can send it to a single contact. In this example, we will send it to all of the contacts who have the training tag and choose search. I can see my recipient list on the right hand side and it's sending to three recipients. To remove a recipient from your recipient list, just choose the X. From the toggles on the left side, you'll choose survey and I will choose which survey I would like to send to my recipient. In this case, we'll use the customer service that we just created and choose send. My message has now been sent with my survey. Another way to send it is when a conversation has been concluded in the chat box during a live agent interaction. Choose chat box from the left menu bar. Once an agent has finished a conversation with a customer, at the bottom of the chat screen, you will see a pathway. Choose the pathway and it will provide options to send to survey or place on a pathway. Choose send to survey and choose the survey that you would like to send. The customer has now been sent the survey. To review the results of the survey, on the left menu bar, choose reports. From the report screen, choose survey. A list of your created surveys will populate. On the survey report screen, it will review the surveys that you've created, how many questions are part of that survey, and how many people have responded to that survey. To review the responses, choose view. In this example, we'll review the responses from the customer service survey that we created. From the survey report screen, you can see the respondents, their phone numbers, the date that they started the survey, the date the survey was completed, and the status of the survey, whether it's been completed, in progress, or terminated. To review the responses, choose View. You will receive an overall summary for that respondent and the responses to each question. If you would like a full report of responses, you can choose Export to export to a CSV file. A file will populate on the bottom of the screen, the file will include the user information and the answers to the questions. You are now ready to create and send surveys.